Um, I want to thank everybody who did come out and uh, take the time to tour this great uh, school and the facility. I want to thank East Haven for allowing us to, to do this here and highlight all of the great work you guys are doing. Um, joining us here today is the mayor's office. We have the superintendent's office. We have all of the high school or some of the high school administration and our colleagues from the state delegation. Um, I'm honored to be back here in East Haven. I'm an alumni here. Um, we are in uh, the library, which was my favorite place in high school. Um, uh, well, the reason we are here today is to talk about East Haven and highlight all of the good work that East Haven Board of Education is doing um, for workforce development. We understand that that's a challenge that we're having at a state level, and East Haven is definitely taking steps in the right direction to address our workforce development issues. Um, it's very exciting to see that they have expanded their workforce development training and added on a manufacturing program. Um, you know, it's so important that we're exposing you know, our students and educating them to all the options that are out there um, after high school, uh, all of them, not just four-year degrees. Um, and you know, that's so important that we do that. Um, you know, I always laugh with my friends and joke and say, if we knew now, or knew then what we know now, we would do things differently. And I'm sure everyone here would say that. Say, we, we, we could see in the future, we would make different decisions. Um, and that's really important to me. Um, and when addressing some of our workforce challenges, you know, as your senator, I, I set up a lot of meetings with stakeholders whether it was the Board of Education, whether it was unions, um, whether it was businesses, a big, big role in, in our workforce challenges, we need the input of everyone. And we brought people together. Matter of fact, we brought the high school together with some uh, manufacturing associations and, and great things stemmed from there. Um, and when talking to those stakeholders, again, whether it was a nonprofit, um, a union, they all had challenges, and they were all different challenges. And our job as legislators is to find issues, research, and find ways to fix those problems. And, and that's what some of the legislation that we're working on in the Capitol does. It's addressing the challenges that we have in our workforce. Um, you know, we have an aging population in a lot of the trades, and we need to make sure we have people that are willing to go into these professions. And to do that, we need to expose them to those trades. And by having programs like this and many others across the state, it allows the students to experience these trades. And they're not just jobs, they're great paying careers. Um, when touring Connecticut and speaking to manufacturers um, and, and unions, I was shocked to see the type of salaries that came along with a manufacturing position. New Core Steel's average salary is $94,000 within three years. That's a lot of money. And I think that we need to expose our children to that so we can make sure that they have the information they need to make decisions going forward. So they can stay here, work here, raise a family here, and ultimately it's gonna help everyone involved. So again, I really want to thank East Haven for all the work they're doing to help with workforce development, specifically um, this new program that you guys took the initiative to put forward. And I'd love to hear a little bit more about that. Um, but we're gonna start with um, Mayor Joe Kafora. Would you like to come up and say a few words? Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Senator Ciccarello, uh, Board of Education staff and invited guests, elected officials. Uh, I'm happy to be here uh, to speak to you about the importance of our CTE program. This is an instrumental program of study for our students in our community. As a lifelong resident of East Haven and now mayor, I have always understood the socioeconomic landscape of our town and the value of not only a traditional education, but also a hands-on approach to building practical skills. I am committed to continue funding and working in step with the Board of Education and giving our students the tools they need to succeed, no matter uh, the path they focus on. This type of education has become increasingly important in today's rapidly changing job market. 
where many high paying jobs require specialized skills and training. I see this every day with many of our own departments here in town. As a community, without hesitation, we need to continually invest in CTE programs for our young people. College is not for everyone. Those students should still have access to high quality education and that prepares them for well paying and satisfying jobs. Our CTE program covers a wider range of careers, including healthcare, engineering, information technology, the graphic design, construction, culinary arts, and many more. In the short time the CTE program has been implemented, it has shown, uh, uh, it has shown real results for students, helping them land you know, their chosen careers. In my eyes, nothing replaces practical real world experience to help our youth develop the critical thinking and problem solving and communication skills that are essential for any success in any field and in life. I encourage all towns to invest in CTE programs. They help to create a skilled workforce that meets the needs of local businesses, which helps to attract new businesses to our area. This creates a positive cycle of economic growth that benefits everyone in our community. The best way to sum this up, by providing our young people with practical skills and training uh, so, so we can help ensure their success and contribute to the growth of our local economy. I'm hoping we can work together to create a brighter future for all of our students. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. And next we'll bring up Superintendent of Schools, Erica Forty. Good afternoon. Uh, East Haven Public Schools is thrilled to be able to host um, this, this tour today. Um, our district is incredibly proud of our students and our educators who work tirelessly every single day to provide the best possible educational experience we can for our students. And to do so, we have a vision and a mission and a set of beliefs statements that talk about the importance of partnerships. Partnerships between our community, between our senators, between our legislators, between our teachers, our parents, faculty, and staff. The strength of those partnerships is what has yielded this incredible program and programming that you're going to see today. Programming that provides students with multiple pathways post high school um, to enter the workforce and or have a set of skills that will help them make better decisions about what it is they want to do um, in terms of a profession. Um, as part of this, we've also grown our vision of the East Haven graduate. Those are the absolute skills and attributes necessary for all of our kids to have prior to walking across that stage, grabbing their diploma, and heading in to the next phase of their lives. Um, so thank you to all of our guests here today. We're really excited to show you the magic that transpires downstairs in all of our pathways that lead to our students' future success. Thank you. And next, we'll have up uh, East Haven High School Principal Vin Denuzzo. Right. Thank you. Thank you, Senator. And welcome everyone to our, our fantastic facility here. Um, as the superintendent mentioned, and I'll, and I'll just kind of piggyback on that a little bit, here at the high school, our focus has been on preparing for students to be both college and career ready. Um, and while we certainly offer a variety of courses in the core content areas to provide students what they might need to be successful at the collegiate level, um, we know that the knowledge and skills that they need to be successful in the career and technical education programming is equally as important. Um, we want to make sure that our students are provided with the knowledge and skills that they will need to be successful in industry as well as at the college level. So these programs, as the superintendent just mentioned, are directly aligned to our vision of the graduate as they require students to solve problems, communicate, collaborate, find and use resources from a variety of sources, and so much more. Um, our students in the career and technical education programs are required to locate, analyze, interpret, and communicate information, understand our interconnectedness, collaborate and develop leadership skills, develop habits of personal and social responsibility, and the ability to adapt to changes. And lastly, they have to have those 21st century skills and resources that provide them with the opportunities 
to use the technology that is ever changing to go out into that workforce. Again, our focus to ensure that our students that are exposed to a variety of courses to prepare them for life after high school and if appropriate for them to go directly into the workforce where they can uh, support themselves, their families and create a better life for themselves. Uh, today, when we go out and take a tour of our, our career and technical education programming, you'll see just a little bit of what we have to offer and what our students are doing on a, on a daily basis here. The technology, the machinery, everything that they're using to uh, enhance their experience here at East Haven High School and prepare them for life after high school. So we hope you really enjoy the tour, um, get to interact with some of our students and our staff members, um, and see what, uh, what our students are doing in, uh, in their academic experiences here at East Haven. Thank you very much for, for welcoming us um, as part of this, this initiative today, and we appreciate you being here. Thank you. Thank you, Principal Donazzo. I look forward to that tour as well. Um, next, we're going to have up the Director of Economic Development, Michelle Benavenga. Thank you. Good, good morning. Um, as East Haven's Director of Economic Development, I am thrilled to be here today to talk to you about the career and technical education programs for our students. Not only does the CTE program provide our students with knowledge, skills, and training they need to succeed in the workforce, it also provides valuable hands-on experience and practical skills that are in high demand by our local business owners. My department has been working closely with the Board of Education to ensure our students are well prepared and connected with local businesses for internships and job opportunities. We have forged a strong partnership with local employers and are committed to providing our students every opportunity to achieve their goal. One goal of this program is to always put our students first while allowing them to soar with their strengths. We all want our graduates to be highly sought after by local employers or become business owners themselves. In fact, some students have secured jobs even before graduating the program. This month, we were able to offer CTE students an opportunity to create marketing videos that showcase East Haven businesses. This collaboration highlights the importance of community engagement. It was such a pleasure watching our students creatively support local businesses and the economy. It is impossible. It is impossible to. Sorry. Um, it is impossible to overstate the importance of these programs. They are vital to our town's continued growth and prosperity. The alliance between the Board of Education and the Economic Development part, uh, Department is integral in bringing attention to this program and its efforts. As I have said, personally, this program brings me great joy. Witnessing our students get internships and new careers is one of the most rewarding aspects of my job. It is a testament to the hard work and dedication of our students, teachers, parents, and local businesses. From an economic development perspective, we do not live in a one-size-fits-all world. East Haven CTE program encourages our students to capitalize on old, new, and unique career opportunities. Thank you for this opportunity today. And now we're going to hear from our partners from our state delegation um, that also work very hard and understand how important workforce development is. We're going to be hearing from our minority leader, Vin Candelora. Good afternoon. I just wanted to uh, you know, congratulate East Haven High School on this endeavor. Uh, many of our communities now, as we look at education in a different way, um, kids are on different tracks and uh, certainly looking at being able to reinvent high schools to allow for uh, manufacturing careers um, right out of the get-go of getting a diploma, I think is a very important, um, you know, it's an important endeavor to do. And I know that our surrounding towns are certainly trying to do the, the same thing. And um, I just want to congratulate you all on, on that work. Thank you. And next we'll have Christine Cohen, State Senator. 
Uh, thank you, Senator. I'm so glad to be here because East Haven is such a leader in this regard. It's really phenomenal to sort of have a glimpse of, you know, schools across the state and what they're doing. And I just want to commend you all, um, especially Superintendent Forty and Principal Denezzo. Um, what you're doing is really forging a path that the rest of the state can really look to um, and a real model um, for everybody. Having these workforce development programs are essential to grow our economy and ensure that we are growing a workforce that wants to stay here and grow their families here. Um, and you know, we, we know from all the work that we do at the state capitol that the, the key components are you know, making sure that we have students that are well educated, uh, that we are providing uh, workforce placement, um, and we do that through workforce development, making sure we have connectivity uh, throughout the state uh, through transportation, and making sure there's housing. And so those are the real core components to making sure that we are developing um, students that can grow here in Connecticut and in turn create an economy that can really thrive here. So kudos, hats off to all of you for a job well done. Uh, you know, it really, I know Mayor and, and Michelle, you're, you've been so supportive of these efforts and making sure that they happen here in East Haven. And I know uh, for all of us in the delegation, this is something that, you know, we have been working so hard on workforce development in the, the legislature. It's really been a bipartisan initiative. So to look to programs like this, you truly are uh, sort of a beacon for the rest of the districts across the state. So well done, thank you, and I can't wait to see the facilities. So, and last but not least, we'll have State Representative Joseph Zulo. Thank you, Senator. Uh, thank you for uh, having me here today, and uh, I'd like to first start out by commending Senator Chicarella and the entire uh, leadership. Uh, that's here today from uh, the town of East Haven. You know, a, pro a program like this does not develop overnight. It takes some advocacy, and I'd like to commend Senator Ciccarella for his ad advocacy on this issue. He's been a champion for our children since he's been elected, and um, really digging his, his, his heels in here uh, with the Board of Education to, to support and develop this type of program, which has just been tremendous. You know, what we've heard today is that you know, education is comprehensive, right? It's holistic. It's not a just about rote memorization. It's not just about opening up a book and exposing children to new concepts that way. It's about getting your hands dirty. It's about learning to build something. It's about finding inspiration through action. And that's what you're getting with a program like this. Inspiration through action. Uh, you're getting children who are figuring out what they want to do with their lives, figuring out their careers uh, by, by learning, you know, by firsthand. Uh, again, I'd like to commend Mayor Carfora, the entire, particularly also the superintendent, uh, for again getting behind this program, helping it to grow in East Haven. I'm certainly looking forward to seeing everything that they're doing here, and uh, working with colleagues to see how we can push this out across the state. Thank you very much. And with that, if we have uh, any questions. We'll take those now. If not, we're going to go tour the, the facility and check it, check it out firsthand. Hopefully there's some students working in there and checking out all the machinery.